Hi, I'm Sir Oliver, your online math tutor. Hello mga mathmates! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung hindi ka pa nagsusubscribe, ay eh, magsubscribe ka na at hit mo na yung post notification bell para updated ka every time na mag-post ako ng bagong video. Panibagong video, panibagong topic na naman ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon, ito ang last part ng Equation of a Line. So, nandun na tayo sa my x and y intercepts. Paano natin makukuha ang equation of a line given ang x and y intercepts? The equation of a line with x intercept A and y intercept B is given by, so this will be the intercept form na gagamitin natin. x over A plus y over B equals 1 where A should not be equal to 0 and B should not be equal to 0. Again, X over A plus Y over B equals to 1. So, yan yung form or formula na gagamitin natin. So, let's have an example. You are asked to write the equation of the line with X intercept 3 and Y intercept 2. Again, ang gagamit, gagamitin nating form ay X over A plus y over b equals 1. So, we need to substitute a equals to 3 for the x-intercept and 2 for b, that is your y-intercept. So, that is x over 2 plus y over 3 equals to 1. Again, just substitute a equals to 3 for x and b equals to 2 for y. So, that will be the first step. Then, after substituting all the given, you need to multiply each term by the LCD. Again, multiply each term by the LCD. So, since our denominators are 2 and 3, what is our LCD? Okay, 6. We're going to multiply each term by 6. Okay, let us continue. Distribute and multiply. So, it will become 6x over 2 plus 6 y over 3 equals 6 times 1 is 6. Again, 6x over 2 plus 6y over 3 equals to 6. We just multiply 6 in each term of a given expression. Then last would be simplify. So 6 divides 2 is 3x plus 6 divides 3 is 2y equals to 6. So therefore, 3x plus 2y equals to 6 is the equation of the line using the x and y intercept. Okay, let's have another example. Write the equation of the line with x intercept 8 and y intercept negative 6. Again, we're going to use the form or the formula x over a plus y over b equals to 1. We need to substitute the given a for x equals to 8 and b for y intercept equals to negative 6. Again, please take note of the sign. For y intercept, you have negative 6. Therefore, x over 8, pinaltan si a ng 8, minus. So, it will become minus since our y intercept is negative. y over 6 equals to 1. So, multiply each term by the LCD. So, our denominators are 8 and 6. So, therefore, ano yung ating LCD? 24, correct. So, we need to multiply each term by 24. So, let us continue. So, we need to distribute and multiply. So, 24x over 8 minus 24y over 6 equals to 24. Again, 24x over 8 minus 24y over 6 equals 24. So, 24 times 1 is 24. Then, simplify. 24 divides 8 is 3 minus 24 divides 6 is 4y equals to 24. So, that will be the equation of the line. Okay, we're now down on the last example that we have. So, this time, I have given a fraction. Yung x-intercept natin ay 2 thirds, yung y-intercept natin ay negative 5. Same process. We just substitute a is 2 thirds, and then b is negative 5. So therefore, it will become x over 2 thirds 
minus y over 5 equals to 1. So, madadagdagan lang natin, uh, madadagdagan lang yung steps natin ng isa since ang ating denominator yung sa x i fraction. So, we need to get the reciprocal of 2 thirds. So, therefore, it will become 3x over 2 minus y over 5 equals to 1. Again, ang nabago lang sa step natin yung 2 thirds, kinuha yung reciprocal, it will become 3x over 2. And then, multiply each term by the LCD. So, 2 and 5, what is the LCD of 2 and 5? 10. So, we need to multiply each term of the expression by 10. So, we need to distribute and multiply. So, that is 10 times 3 is 30x over 2. 10 times y is 10y over 5 equals 10 times 1 is 10. And then we need to simplify by dividing. 10 divides 2 is 15. X minus 10 divides 5 is 2Y equals to 10. Therefore, that is the equation of the line. 15X minus 2Y equals to 10. So, for your activity, I want you to answer 4 items na i-flush dahil sa ating video. So, kapag na reach mo na yung pang fourth question pwede mo munang i-pause and then sagutan and then pwede mo na ulit i-play para i-reveal or checkan yung answer Okay, check your work. So, for number 1, you have 4x minus y equals to 16. For number 2, you have 20x minus 3y equals to 15. For number 3, you have 5x minus 2y equals to negative 10. And for the last item, x minus 10y equals to 4. So, that's it. So, that's the end of our discussion. So, part by part of the equation of a line. So, I hope na marunong na kayong gumawa ng equation of a line. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell para updated kayo every time mag-post ako ng bagong video. So, God bless us all.